Welcome to the Disney Fairyland of Pixie Hollow, where you'll meet 10 palm-sized fairies with amazing superpowers. Stay tuned to see what these fairies look like in real life, and wait until you see who Tinkerbell was actually based on. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Now join us as we look at 10 Disney fairies in real life. Rosetta did you know that the southern-accented Rosetta was one of the first fairies to arrive at the Pixie Hollow? She's a garden talent fairy, and she's known to be extremely gentle. Rosetta does have a sassy side to her, and she can sometimes act like a little bit of a princess. Remember when she stated that she isn't really the type to walk in mud to get to the other side, and Vidya pointed out she's supposed to be a garden fairy? Rosetta just called it ironic, but she does have some pretty awesome powers and can easily control the plant life and the earth. Looks-wise, Rosetta is a typical girly girl. She's very into fashion and always makes sure she looks good no matter what. Her makeup is always on point, and her fashionable dresses are accompanied by the red shoulder-length hair. She sounds like an awesome character to cosplay, but no one can do Rosetta better than the actual Disneyland version of Rosetta. She looks just as sweet and almost identical to the cartoon fairy. Rosetta was voiced by Kristen Chenoweth in the early days and later by Megan Hilty. The Garden Fairy is featured in almost every Tinkerbell movie, and she always tends to steal the spotlight. What else would you expect from a cute little fairy with a southern accent? Fairy Gary Fairy Gary is a Disney character you won't know unless you saw the 2009 movie Tinkerbell and the Lost Treasure. Fairy Gary is quite an interesting character, probably known only to hardcore Disney fans. His job is to oversee dust talent fairies, kind of like being a talent manager in real life. He's big, muscular, with a huge nose, and a mustache that connects to his beard and runs all the way up to his hair. It seems very strange that Disney would choose him as one of the fairies, but we're so happy they did. Fairy Gary is one of the most hilarious fairies out there, and our favorite moment was when he shouts Dust Keeper Pride during Pixie Hollow Games. We scoured the internet and found this picture of a real-life Fairy Gary, together with all of his favorite Disney fairies. His outfit is pretty spot-on, and we love the elvish boots and his kilt. Fairy Gary is voiced by Jeff Bennett, who also voiced Johnny Bravo, Tong Fo in Kung Fu Panda TV series, and plenty of other cartoon characters. If you ever wondered how Pixie Dust works and who the best Disney fairy is, Fairy Gary is your guy to talk to, although we think the best Disney fairy role would belong to him. Silver Mist and now let's have a look at one of the sweetest fairies out there. This one is a water talent fairy who's always immensely positive, incredibly friendly, and she always sees the glass as half full, and it's probably half full of water. She even has water fairy humor and uses puns on a regular basis. She's been featured in almost all Disney fairy movies, including the fifth Tinkerbell movie, The Pirate Fairy. Silver Mist is very small and can easily fit in the palm of your hands, which is precisely why she is so sweet and gentle. She has bluish black hair, a blue dress, and matching wings with matching sandals. She's one of the most caring fairies of the bunch, and her powers include molding water into different shapes and forms. We have to say she can get pretty crafty, but that's not all. She can also communicate with sea creatures and, of course, fly. Pretty impressive for a palm-sized fairy, right? The human version of Silver Mist can be found in the actual Disneyland, and she looks incredible. Don't you think her dress and her hair look identical? Just like we do, we bet she also wishes she could have the power to fly. Silver Mist is voiced by Lucy Liu, who also voiced Viper in Kung Fu Panda, and is also known for her roles in Ally McBeal and Charlie's Angels. Beck Beck is mainly featured in books instead of movies, but that doesn't mean that she's any less awesome. She's known as the Animal Talent Fairy, and as you can guess, she's very fond of animals and believes in kindness toward all creatures. Although she's mainly featured in books, that doesn't mean she doesn't have a distinctive look that sets her apart from other fairies. Beck looks like she could be a character from Robin Hood. Her signature colors are green and brown, and her green hat makes her resemble an elf. 
Beck is also the only fairy that tends to be around Mother Dove, the magical dove that brought back life to Pixie Hollow and restored magic to Neverland. But wait until you see what this cosplayer looks like as a real-life Beck. This DeviantArt user's name is Vash Fanatic, and Beck is one of her favorite fairy characters. Check out her awesome wings and her cool outfit. We hope she's used to animals because if she's anything like Beck, she likes to spend more time with animals than she does with humans. In fact, Beck wants to become an animal herself. She can read their thoughts and even speak the bird language. If that's not cool, we're not sure what is. Prilla Just like Beck, Prilla only appears in books, but that doesn't mean she's not an important character to the Disney fairy stories. Prilla was the only fairy that didn't know her talent when she arrived at the Pixie Hollow. Although fairies never reveal their age, Prilla looks like she could be one of the youngest in the group. Prilla has a very unusual power. She encourages clapping to prevent fairies from dying. You see, fairies are created by children, once children laugh. With clapping, Prilla encourages other children who still believe in fairies to clap and keep her alive. Looks-wise, Prilla has a lot going on with her outfit, which includes a large flower in her hand. Her red curly hair has a mind of its own, and her cute lilac and green dress are wonderful. This cosplayer might just be our favorite real-life Disney fairy yet. She looks absolutely identical to Prilla. From her hair to her amazing outfit, she is totally rocking her cosplay look. Although Prilla's talent wasn't discovered at first, it was later found that she doesn't only have one. She can also transport to the land of humans and back to the fairyland with just a simple blink. We can imagine this can be quite distracting if she's on a serious fairy mission. Periwinkle this frost talent fairy can only be found in Tinkerbell's Secret of the Wings movie. Gliss is very energetic and super friendly to anyone she meets. Appearance-wise, Periwinkle has pale skin, pink lips, and a signature blue clothing. In fact, she's one of the very few fairies that wears trousers instead of a short dress. But we guess this is because she's a frost fairy. Her powers include control over ice and snow, immunity from the cold, ice manipulation. Periwinkle has another secret you won't know unless you're a hardcore Disney fan. She's Tinkerbell's twin sister. Not only are they very similar in their personalities and mannerisms, but they also share the same wing pattern, which is usually unique to each fairy. Pretty cool, huh? If you're looking to find a real-life Periwinkle, you'll have to head to Disneyland. This performer looks like she has the Ice Fairies look down to a T, and we love it. Speaking of Periwinkles, did you know that they're actually snails? And they have their own version of a unique superpower. You see, these snails, even though they're meant to be sea creatures, can also breathe air and live in both water and land. Although we have to say, we prefer the fairies to the snails. Who wouldn't want to have immunity to the cold? Fawn so far, we've had fun looking at several real-life versions of the Disney fairies, including Periwinkle, Rosetta, Prilla, Silver Mist, Beck, and Fairy Gary. Let's take a look at Fawn. She's yet another animal talent fairy, but unlike Beck, she does appear in the movie versions of Disney fairies. Fawn has a very distinctive and unique look to her. Although her hair might not have Periwinkle's cool color, it does have an abnormally long braid, which reminds us of Rapunzel from Tangled. Fawn is very caring and selfless when it comes to animals and, of course, she's a vegetarian. Her brown and yellow outfit makes her easy to blend in with the animal world, and she has some of the coolest powers we have ever seen. Just like Beck, Fawn can read animals' minds, but she can also control and communicate with any wildlife. Imagine you could easily talk to your dog or find out what it's thinking. Although the real-life version of Fawn doesn't have such cool powers, she still looks just like the animal talent fairy. Doesn't her braid look amazing? You can find her in Disneyland. Fawn was once voiced by America Ferreira and Jennifer Goodwin, and each of them is most known for their individual roles in Ugly Betty and Once Upon a Time. But it was Angela Bartas who voiced Fawn the longest and gave the character a recognizable voice. You have to admire Fawn for her love of animals, as she doesn't discriminate. She gives Eskimo kisses to squirrels, and she has no problem hanging out with skunks, even though she probably shouldn't. Vidya 
Vidya's powers might look like they're not as cool as the rest of them, but she's the one bringing the breeze and keeping the weather seasons in check. She's definitely one of the coolest fairies around, and we love her long, dark hair. While other fairies tend to wear bright clothing, Vidya easily stands out with her dark purple outfit. As you might have guessed, Vidya is one of the most sarcastic fairies out there. While others tend to be energetic and genuinely kind, Vidya used to use the words dear and darling in a condescending manner. Still, she's good at heart, otherwise she wouldn't be featured as the main character in the Disney fairy movies. She's the only character that changed with the plot of the films and managed to grow her personality into bold and loving. Vidya is known as the fast flying fairy. She uses the power of her super fast wings to control whirlwinds and even keep an eye on tornadoes. Vidya can also be found in the actual Disneyland, and she looks just as cool as she does in Tinkerbell movies. Vidya is voiced by Pamela Adlon, who's also known for her role as Bobby Hill from King of the Hill. Fans tend to love her character because she stands out from the crowd with her personality, and some think that she'd be a perfect addition to the Slytherin house in Harry Potter. Iridessa If you thought Vidya is a unique character, wait until you see Iridessa. She's one of the very few African-American Disney characters and one of the most talented light fairies. Being a light fairy gives her the power to control everything that has to do with daylight. Iridessa has a very good sense of humor, and she's one of the smartest fairies around. Looks-wise, Iridessa has a unique yellow dress, sandals, and dark hair that's always pinned up in a bun. This is a real-life version of Iridessa, created by a cosplayer named Sidoni. Doesn't she look just like a fairy? We're very impressed with this version, and we love her yellow dress. Iridessa is voiced by Raven Simone, who absolutely adores the character. Iridessa is a perfectionist, and she doesn't want to mess things up. Did you know that Raven was just 18 years old when she was offered the role, and by the time they started working on the fourth movie, she was 24? She said you're definitely able to see her own facial expressions in The Light Fairy, and she even stated that Iridessa does do a lot of things Raven would also do if she becomes a fairy. While Iridessa's power controls the light, Raven had one of the best powers when she was voicing her character. She was able to come to work in her pajamas. Tinkerbell We've shown you nine Disney fairy characters that have all played a somewhat significant part in the fairy stories. But Tinkerbell, also nicknamed as Tink, is such an iconic character, she has managed to appear in several other movies. We even give a nickname Tinkerbell to someone who's petite and bubbly. Tinkerbell is possibly one of the most recognizable Disney characters. She's fearless, sassy, and witty, and she doesn't have a problem standing up for herself. She has several superpowers, and she's an expert when it comes to craftsmanship. As her name suggests, she can easily upgrade any gadget and machinery, and she's blessed with the power of super intelligence. Apart from the Disney fairy movies, Tinkerbell is most known for her original role in Peter Pan. Her animated character is voiced by Mae Whitman, while her live-action character is played by Julia Roberts. The real-life Tinkerbell can be found in Disneyland, but did you know that there's a misconception over who this fairy character was modeled by? Many think this iconic fairy got her looks from Marilyn Monroe, but the truth is she was based on Margaret Carey. While Margaret is now almost 90 years old, she's still very proud of the legacy she was able to leave behind with her iconic fairy character. Which Disney fairy superpower would you have? Let us know in the comments! For more Disney videos, check out 10 Despicable Me characters in real life. See you next time!